Singapore has tightened border controls for travelers from India and other countries to keep a lid on the COVID-19 situation here. Compounding the situation is the emergence of new variants of the virus, which are fueling transmission abroad. To discuss the variants and the role of vaccines against such a background, we're joined by infectious diseases specialist Dr. Leong Ho Nam from Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital. Thank you, Dr. Leong, for joining us as always. Uh, firstly, we are seeing a lot of variants in Singapore, are we? We are seeing variants, and indeed we've reported the B117 variant, which is the UK variant. It it affords the virus more transmissibility. So think of it, we had the mask on and the virus mutated, adapted with this variant to try to cope with it. There's a suspect that we may have the E484K mutant, uh, which is the one which is responsible for the uh, the one that overcomes the existing resistance there is. So that's not been verified yet. We're still watching the news. Dr. Leong, we know that these variants are different, but can they be described as dangerous as well? Yes and no. You see, the virus is actually adapting, adapting to all the measures we throw at it. So we have the mass at it, then they'll throw, and then they'll try to adapt with better transmissibility. And that's how one of the mutants come about. Then if we have the incubation period of 14 days, they will adapt and try to extend it to 21 days. And of course, if a person's been infected before, then immediately the virus will want to try to reinfect the other one so as to try to overcome the existing immu uh, immunology, the immune system. So the virus is actually adapting through the different variants there are. Now, if we stick to the rule play, the rule play which is find one patient, isolate the patient, and then find the contacts and contain them, then the variants don't matter. Because as the variants don't leave the person, don't leave that room, don't leave their quarantine, then the variants will die. But the trouble is the world is not united. People who are sick are still going out and in turn they're spreading these variants. So in the context of Singapore, if they are contained in the quarantine area and we have good contact tracing, no issues at all whatsoever. But if the people are still going out without masks, and mind you, we have big groups of anti-vaxxers, we've got people of COVID-19 deniers, people who actually deny the existence of COVID-19, they are the ones that are going to spread. And they, in turn, will affect the rest of the world. And remember, the world marches at the pace of the slowest nation for COVID-19. And no way are we going to get out of this all on our own, but with the whole world's help. That means then, by that rationale, that you know the urgency to get everyone vaccinated as soon as possible is even stronger, isn't it? Because the longer that people don't get vaccinated, it gives more opportunity for variants to emerge to be able to get past or get around and render the current vaccines ineffective. Steve, great question, but there are actually two halves of it. Now, when you actually get vaccinated, the chief purpose is to cut down deaths, cut down hospitalization, render a deadly virus into a mild cold or a non-disease at all. That's the first and most important purpose of the, of the vaccination. Now, we are hoping very much that the vaccine will treat the existing virus. That is very effective. We're hoping that the, virus, the vaccine will treat the variants as well. And so far, it is fairly effective. But if you think about it, the way to prevent variants is not to use vaccines. The way to prevent variants is to actually prevent replication of the virus, which means everyone mask up, everyone do social distancing, no replication, and the virus stops mutating because there's no chance to replicate. Now, to expect the vaccines to overcome all the variants is ridiculous. You see, the virus role is this. It wants world domination. It wants to repeatedly infect individuals again and again and again. So if you have a barrier here, which is the vaccines, the virus will try all its might to try to overcome that barrier, which means it will attempt to mutate and attempt to mutate, attempt to mutate. How many viruses are they willing to sacrifice and to get one mutant out? I'll tell you, more than 100 billion viruses. And as long as one of them succeeds, we have a new variant 
that can potentially overcome our vaccines. Hence, coming back to the question, to expect the vaccines to overcome all mutants while the virus keeps adapting, I think it is a pipe dream. We get the vaccines in to minimize the risk of deaths, minimize the risk of hospitalizations, convert it into a mild flu. If we want to stop the mutants, we have to start masking up and doing social distancing, not just in Singapore, but the whole world. Well, the, ta- the uh, challenges of tackling COVID-19 just continues. Dr. Yong, thank you very much for sharing your time with us this evening. We've been speaking there to Dr. Yong Ho Nam, infectious diseases specialist from Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital.